Hello everyone, in this session, we will see how to attach a docker container to VS Code and execute Python scripts. First, open the folder in VS Code that you want to work with. Here, I have already opened a folder called scripts that I want to work with. Next, go to file preferences extension. You can also use shortcut key control shift X to open this particular window. In the search bar, search for dev containers, which you need to install. Here I have already installed dev containers and hence it's not showing install button as it's showing for other extensions. Once you have installed dev containers, just open the command line or terminal and pull the image that you want to work with. In my case, I am going to work with python 3.11 so i am going to pull python 3.11 image as i have already pulled the image so that image is already available on my system once the image pulling is done start the container with volume mounting here volume mounting is necessary as vs code going to open whatever files are there inside the container and hence if you have not mounted any volume in that case it won't show any files now using the command as shown on the screen as i have highlighted start the container okay over here dit stands for in detached mode and in interactive way dash v stands for we are going to mount the volume dot means we want to mount the current directory current folder path to home nyan directory of container this is the pytest name of the container that I, that I want to give and python 3.11 is the image that I want to utilize to start the container okay and you will get an id of that docker container over here I have started the container but please note that in case you want to work with docker file in that case you need to first build the image from that docker file and then you need to run the docker container using that particular image once you have got the container running that docker file image you can follow the next step in the next step press ctrl shift p here search for dev containers attached to running containers so as you can see this is the first option but over here uh, like as i have already used this option i have got it first place but you can search for it like dev containers attached to running containers select this particular option over here it will show all the containers which are running so as i have multiple containers running on my system i need to specify which particular container i want to start with so over here you can see that pytest this is the container that we have just started and you can verify the id as well like 595 595 so i'm going to select this particular container and then new visual studio code window is going to open and over here you can see that i have got both the files which are there on my host system inside the container as i have mounted the volume whatever the changes i am going to done inside this particular container those changes are going to be available on my host system okay so for an example if i create some new file like requirements dot txt so this file i have created inside the docker container but that same file is going to be available on my host system over here you can utilize the python in normal way as if it's on your local system so over here you can use this pip show command or pip install command to install specific packages so you can use python over here as if it's a virtual environment and it's on your local system that's it for the day Thank you everyone for watching this video.